How's it going, all you most amazing top teners? I'm Landon. This is a channel where we're taking interesting and crazy topics from around the globe and we compile them into this nice top 10 list for your entertainment. So today I'm going to be taking us way over to New Zealand. For me it's a really, really long flight where I'm going to be talking about the top 10 things to do in New Zealand. I was recently briefly there when I had a layover in New Zealand and it looked amazing. So starting off this list, in at number 10, for many visitors, bungee jumping in New Zealand has almost become a rite of passage. All over the country, you can leap from bridges, climb rails, viaducts, specially made platform perched on the edge of cliffs and stadium roofs. One of the most popular bungee jumping locations is in the historic Howell Bridge near Queenstown. This is the world's first commercial bungee jump location. It has a 43 meter jump, water touches are available, and it includes a free jumper t-shirt. Yes. Caving takes us to the number 9 spot on our list. New Zealand has some of the most challenging and spectacular caving systems in the world. But even first time cavers can enjoy the underground scenery. In the North Island, the best known caving area is Watelmo Caves. There are caves where you can simply walk through, there are caves you can float through, which is actually called blackwater rafting, and there are caves that require climbing and squeezing in tight spaces. For you who are claustrophobic, you still got to experience this one. Just face your fear and do it. Up next, in at number 8, we have rafting. The mountains of New Zealand have a vast amount of fast flowing rivers that run through the forest to the sea. Just be sure to pick the right category for your level. Grade 1 river offers relatively tranquil water, while grade 5 is regarded as an extreme sport. There are trips ranging from a couple of hours to 5 days that are led by qualified guides. Rafting rivers in the North Island are most found in the central and east coast areas of Lake Taboo, Bay of Plenty, and the Hawkeyes Bay. Let me take you guys into the treetops for our number 7 spot. And of course I'm talking about zip lining. Oh my god, I want to do this so bad. And now I can do it in New Zealand. New New Zealand is the home to a number of spectacular zip lining experiences where visitors can glide through native forests, across rivers and canyons, imagine that. In the North Island, you should make your way over to the Wahiki Island where you'll zip your way past stunning views of Auckland Harbour or head over to Rotora for an immersive 3 hour wildness experience. On the west coast, you can combine zip lining with river tubing and twinkling grow work caves. Ok so skiing makes it onto our list and at number 6, the South Island is home to 3 main ski areas. In the North Island, you can ski on an active volcano at Rua Peyu, which is New Zealand's largest commercial ski area. You can expect to see postcard views at every ski turn, alpine peaks, lakes, and stunning views of the resort. Let's dive our way under the water for number 5. Something that you should definitely do in New Zealand is go diving. New Zealand is a diving paradise with accessible coastlines, marine reserves, and hundreds of offshore islands. So you can expect to dive wrecks, drop offs, and subtropical reefs and clean clear waters. You can explore huge kelp forests, swim with school of fish or alongside dolphins. If you're a fan of hiking, you'll want to listen up to this activity. In at number 4, New Zealand offers multi-day hikes that allow you to experience outdoor trekking holidays through some of the country's best scenery. You'll see native birds, there's wildlife, national parks and diverse landscapes. So close to the tourist centers of Tapo and Rotorua, which is a track of the winds through 46 kilometers of the pristine rainforest. You'll visit stunning lakes and wetlands and you'll have the opportunity to listen to the amazing tunes of the bird at sunrise and sunset. Bringing us into number 3 is whale watching. You can spot whales throughout New Zealand including Auckland's Taraki Gulf and Kaikuru. Kaikuru is located on the east coast of the South Island and it is one of the only places in the world where you can easily spot sperm whales. The sperm whales can be seen all year round. The orca or the killer whale can be seen from about December to March and several dolphins are seen almost daily in this area. We're almost at the top spot for our list, but right now coming in at number 2, we have the home of Middle Earth. Ever since the first Lord of the Rings movie was released back in 2001, New Zealand has been known as the home of the Middle Earth. New Zealand's dramatic scenery, golden plains, towering mountains, enchanting valleys were featured as the mythical world of Middle Earth on the big screen in both Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogy. More than 150 locations throughout the country was used to film these movies. There are many activities as a attractions that offer you the chance to see the film locations yourself. I mean this is pretty awesome. Okay so finally we've all 
all made it into number one spot. Well, something you have to do in New Zealand is you gotta do some stargaze. Recently, 4,300 square kilometers of New Zealand's South Island was recognized as an international dark sky reserve, which essentially means that it is one of the best stargazing sites on Earth. Head over to the big sky stargazing at the foot of Mount Cook, where you'll have access to telescopes and knowledgeable guides. You'll also be immersed in the dark, clear skies, unique celestial features and landscapes that make stargazing in New Zealand a breathtaking and magical experience, something you must do in New Zealand. Well, there you guys have it. If you guys are heading over to New Zealand or even down under and making a stopover in New Zealand, you guys should check out one of these things or maybe all 10 of them. Let me know if I've missed anything in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. So let me know what you guys think of these videos and also what top 10 video would you guys like to see next. If you guys want to continue watching just look beside me there's two videos over there for you guys to click on. You guys can also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We've surpassed 1.2 million subscribers. So thank you to every single one of you guys. We're on our way to 2 mil. That's it for me guys. I gotta go make the next one. Probably things to do in like a different country. Which country should I do? Okay bye.